This season, 90 Day Fiancé, The Other Way cast someone who's weirder than Paul Stale, hornier than Carl T, and Big Ed combined, and kinda weirdly hot. Steven Johnston has had viewers on edge from the beginning with his goofy on-camera antics. His sexual history and impulsive flirtiness had fans and his new wife Alina worried, and it was with good reason. Oversharing is always at the tell-all, Steven admits to responding to nine girls' nudes with his own pics and wanting to try out a threesome. The tell-all special for 90 Day Fiancé, The Other Way begins on Sunday, December 5th. What we have already seen in sneak peeks is straight up unhinged. Steven's willingness to flirt with others didn't stop when he married Alina. And he was already a cheater before they ever met. Steven and Alina married in Turkey earlier this year. That marriage is off to an extremely rough start. As evidence, we unfortunately have five sneak peek clips for you showing the couple's issues. Well, Steven's issues. Steven himself confesses at the tell all that he and Alina were arguing, so he began to respond to thirsty DMs. Women who saw him on the show were sending him thirst traps and nude photos. He began to respond to nine of these ladies, as he describes in this video clip, Steven was fully clothed in his responses, he says, but would stick out his tongue. He would brag about the length of his tongue but bashfully admit that he doesn't know what to do with it. The obvious implications and innuendo involved are simply not the behavior of a married man. Alina knows all of this, she confirms at the tell-all, because she is Russian and does not have a visa to come to the United States, Alina is tuning in via video chat, just like Armando Rubio is. She explains that these women sent her screenshots of their conversations with Steven. Steven opened up in this next clip about how he knows that he is sexually repressed. One could write an entire book about Stephen's inner war between what he owes to his wife and his faith against what he desires. While Stephen knows that he needs an outlet for this, apparently he thinks that a threesome would fix this, as he explains in this video. Now, threesomes are perfectly normal things to participate in, don't get us wrong. But Stephen is married, and this is not something that he gets to do on his own or pressure his wife into if Alina doesn't want this. Stephen is also a Mormon. And this is certainly against the strict rules of his very organized religion. Not every revelation about Stephen was blurted out of his own lips due to his own lack of filter. His ex-girlfriend, Vanessa, was a guest at the tell-all. Also raised as a Mormon, she dated Stephen for several months, as she details here. Vanessa doesn't hate Stephen, and she's not afraid of him, but she's hurt. When he went to Russia during their short relationship, she gave him permission to date other girls, asking only that he not go all the way. Instead, Stephen slept with three different women in Russia. Which she knows because Stephen then confessed all of this to her upon his return. Kenneth Niedermeyer shared that he and Armando Rubio chatted with Stephen Johnston and Alina before the season aired. At that time, Kenneth warned him that he would receive a lot of attention from viewers. Kenneth, a married gay man, has received photos of breasts in his DMs. Stephen did not heed Kenneth's warning, and look at the mess that has ensued. Meanwhile, Vanessa told Alina that she's there to support her, and suggested that Stephen is even worse now than he was when they were together. As you can see in this video, Alina said that she hopes that Stephen loves her enough to change. Ariella Weinberg used a very compassionate tone and language to call out Stephen. She assured him that he's not a freak, but she didn't condone his behavior either. As you can see in this video, Stephen snapped back that these were big words from a woman who abandoned her husband. The reality was that Ariella took her son, Avi, for first-rate healthcare, because he needed hernia surgery. Biniam was seated right next to her on the couch, clearly not abandoned now just as he was not then. Stephen's attempt at deflection had no effect, and Ariella continued to call him out. The thing about Stephen is that he doesn't know or understand himself well enough to explain his own behavior, let alone change it. It may be that he is wholly incompatible with the Mormon faith, but that is a decision that only he can make. Right now, the focus should be on either becoming a good husband to Alina, in whatever form, that may take or finding the least painful way to end things before they get worse.